So if you were clicking on this video to learn how you can take your rabbit on daily walks down the sidewalk like you see the dogs next door doing, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend doing that. Hello Buns and welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon Bun Mom, and today I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about harness training your rabbit. The number one thing I get DMs about, which actually really surprised me. I get so many people asking me how I take Cinnabon out in the world, how I got her used to her harness, all of those things. So I thought today I would share my tips and tricks and secrets with you. Now, before I get into any of my tips, I wanna make it extremely clear that every single bunny is different. While these tips might work for Cinnabon, you need to be really careful and understanding of your rabbit because they're a little more difficult to train in this. Some rabbits are super adaptable and can pick it up right away and then others really don't like things on their body and you need to respect their boundaries. It's also worth noting that bringing your rabbit out on a harness is nothing like walking a dog. So if you have that image in your brain, I want you to delete it right now. Now, before you get started with any harness training, you need to get a harness. Now, the one I get the most comments about is this really cute Burberry print one that I have. I love this harness. I really like it when I'm taking her out for pictures, but I will say I actually have a different harness that I recommend more when it comes to being secure. This one is more like our we're out, she's in her bag, I just want her to have an extra layer of security, plus it's cute for pictures, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as much for like daily harness use. The harness that is my tried and true is just this Velcro one. I got off of Amazon. I think it was under $10 and it comes in a ton of different colors. Cinnabon is a haul and lop and she's four pounds and we got a medium if that helps you. What I like about this is the Velcro here. Bunnies are very fluffy and you wanna make sure that the harness is tight on them without being too tight where it's squeezing and because of all their fluff, sometimes having like clasps can be hard to judge how tight it really needs to be. What I love about this is I can squeeze this all the way around her, know exactly how tight it needs to be, but I can make quick adjustments if I find that she's too uncomfortable or if it's too loose. The material is also very breathable so she doesn't get hot in it and it's kind of stretchy. Plus it does have this clasp that you can put around their neck just as an extra layer of protection. I just found that this is the best harness ever. I love this thing. It's the most comfortable in her. It fits her really well and she's not wiggling out. Plus it has a leash that's stretchy, which is super important and we're gonna talk more about later on in this video, but you don't want to be yanking on your rabbit. You don't want anything super taut on your rabbit's neck. So I love this because when they're hopping, they're not gonna choke themselves. So anytime I recommend something with rabbits, I recommend getting them used to things pretty early on in life. The more adaptable you can make your rabbit while they're like in their formative years, the easier it's gonna be to train them. It's like that saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You can teach older rabbits new things, but it's a lot harder when they're set in their ways. I started this training with Cinnabon when she was about four months of age. She was really young, but not too young. And what you're gonna do is you're going to lift your rabbit up and put them on a table somewhere where they can't hop away and put their harness on them. That way you can make sure that you're putting it on properly, it's secure and you're not squirming and fighting them. They're kind of in one area where you can just get it in place. Now, when you're putting the harness on, you wanna make sure that it is secure on your rabbit, but not choking them. You don't want them to wiggle out, so make sure there's not any gaps, but make sure that they can move their head around. Make sure it's not squeezing their neck because you never want to constrict your bunny's neck. And then put your rabbit on the ground for like, two minutes supervised, nothing crazy. Just let them hop around and feel the harness on their body without you bothering them, without you pulling on them, without them being in a new place, just so they can get used to the sensation of being in the harness. After a couple minutes of supervised harness time, you can pick them up, put them on the table, take it off, give them a treat to reward them for their great behavior and let it go for a few days, maybe a week or so. And at any time when you're putting the harness on your rabbit, if they are lashing, if they are terrified, if they are freaking out, stop. This is not for your rabbit and you might need to accept that harness training is not a thing that you should be doing to your bunny. A lot of rabbits that have experienced trauma in their past or have just lived a certain way for so long are gonna be a lot harder to teach this to because it's new and it can be very scary. So once you've done a few of those test runs with trying the harness on, making sure it fits, making sure your rabbit can move around and feels comfortable in it, it's time to take them out 
into the wild. So I mentioned this before, but we are not taking our rabbits on walks. As cute as that is, that is just not the way that their brains work. They do not like that. So I am not telling you to just go out on the street and take your rabbit on a walk. Some rabbits can, but as a whole, when I have Cinnabon on a harness, it's usually when we're in a really big area, it's very safe and I want her to be able to hop around freely and play, but I don't want to just release her into the wild. So I try not to ever bring her anywhere where there are other animals. I try to bring her somewhere that's pretty private, close, off. I've taken her to beaches. I've taken her in my backyard. I've taken her to parks, but I always make sure that there's really nothing around that can hurt her. And from there, all you're going to do is put the harness on and put your rabbit on the ground. And I usually let her tell me where she wants to go. That's the benefit of this stretchy leash here. I just let her hop around and I follow. Because the leash is stretchy and isn't yanking on her neck, she can hop freely without feeling confined, but I know that if there was an emergency, I could hold onto the leash, grab her really quickly, and it's gonna be okay. But the whole idea of having a rabbit on a harness is for them not to feel like they're on a harness. Their idea is for them to feel like they can explore and feel free to play, but you know that they're safe because you're connected to them. Now, the first time your rabbit goes out, they might be pretty scared. And that's something where it's up to you to decide, okay, is this just they're nervous because it's their first time or are they genuinely terrified of this entire experience? If the entire experience is really traumatizing to them, take them out of it and do not do it again. It's not worth it. But if they're just a little like shocked and looking around and confused and curious, that's more just stimulation. And the more you do things, the more they're gonna get used to it. But if your rabbit is thumping, thrashing, acting terrified, you can see the whites in their eyes, that is a sign of pure terror. And that is a totally different scenario where you should take your rabbit out of it and understand that maybe they are not as adventurous. Things you should really be careful about with harness training. One, making sure that the leash never gets tangled around their legs or their paws or any part of their body. They are such fragile little creatures that while dogs can kind of withstand crawling around in their leashes and getting tangled up, it could break your rabbit's bones. So always make sure you know exactly where the leash is and your rabbit's not getting tangled around. Two, make sure that harness fits perfectly. You don't want it to be too loose or too tight. If it's too loose, they can start to wiggle out and escape or kind of get stuck in there and hurt themselves. But if it's too tight, you could really make your rabbit uncomfortable, squeeze their neck, and you do not want to do that. I don't take Cinnabon out in her harness that often. I really just do it if it's a beautiful day and I want her to be able to play outside or if we're doing a picnic or something like that. But it's not a thing I do every single day. So if you were clicking on this video to learn how you can take your rabbit on daily walks down the sidewalk like you see the dogs next door doing, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend doing that, but hopefully doing something like this can help empower you to take your rabbit out into the world, let them experience something new without you freaking out that they're gonna run away or get hurt. I will link the harnesses that I recommended down below. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe because it really helps my channel and we will see you in our next video. Bye buns.